a little bit of a rant tonight, um, addressing several issues. So, one one of them is, of course, the war on Libya. Now, some of my progressive friends, and I, by the way, consider myself to be a progressive, seem to have a problem seeing that this is just another blatant lie from our government. If you want to talk about humanitarian interventions anywhere, uh, I would like to ask you right now, are we sending cruise missiles towards Honduras where lots of people are killed, lots of people are being oppressed? Are we doing the same thing in Syria? Are we doing the same thing to Saudi Arabia? Of course not, no. Because the general understanding in U.S. foreign uh, policy circles is that the United States basically intends to have dominance over the economics of the world. That is the basic premise, and this is also the very same premise which gave rise to the actual revolutionary movements going on in Egypt and Tunisia. It is the same kind of mindset that people are against. What is going on in Libya is a completely different story. We're talking about basically political rival factions. and. You know, none of us know, none of us know uh, who, who, uh, who is saying what, who is for what, and who is for, for, uh, for, for democracy over there, okay? So supporting, now it's, now, huh, this entire speech by Obama is, it's just such an example of uh, uh, blatant lies. in regards to that mission there. I mean, on the one hand, he says, oh, no, our, our, uh, our government isn't pursuing regime change in, in Libya. Um, the next day, Secretary of State Clinton comes out and he says, well, she says, well, no, but that's, uh, we do want Gaddafi out, and it's, that option is very much on the table. Meanwhile, we're sending over cruise missiles and bombers, and don't you think civilians get hurt in this? Do you have any idea what a Tomahawk cruise missile will do once it lands on your property or on your house or on your city block? I mean, now there are reports emerging, you know, from hospitals on the outskirts of Tripoli, you know, lots of civilians uh, being in distress there. So this is what you call an, a human, humanitarian intervention? No, you know, most of us, or at least those of us who are still informed enough to know what the fuck is going on over there, know at least this much. This is all about geopolitics and geopolitical control over the entire region. That's what it boils down to. Nobody gives a shit about these people over there. You think the U.S. government cares about, you know, some vegetable vendor in Tunisia or in Egypt? They could care less. And they're going to bomb them to smithereens, and they're going to say two weeks later, oh, our apologies for the collateral damage. Obama says we can't stand by while, while you know, a potential massacre is occurring. Well, guess what? There are massacres occurring right now on the Ivory Coast, okay? 1,000 people massacred in one day. Are we sending cruise missiles over there? No, because probably we're not so much interested in their resources. Might t take a little more effort to bring those resources to market, because it's not, you know, near the Suez Canal or anywhere near the Mediterranean. 
if if you can't see by now in terms of foreign policy okay US foreign policy that Obama is essentially pursuing the very same policies that Bush and Cheney and Clinton before him all pursued all along you haven't been paying attention the Obama administration recognized a government that came about through a coup a military coup in Honduras while while basically shoving the elected government aside and just like the French you know and their own national interests now in Libya because they've got lots of little contracts going with their energy companies in in Libya uh, you know they have an energy company called Total and it's you know they have lots of pending contracts and they want to be assured that that debt is going to be repaid so what are they going to do they they're placing their bets they think you know maybe this Gaddafi guy should go even though they've done deals with with him all along okay so they're hedging their bets and they're involving themselves in a goddamn civil war uh, on uh, in North Africa and it's all about as usual it's all about control and it's all about money this doesn't have anything to do with humanitarian concerns that's just another lie just like the uh, WMD lie and at the same time you know <clears throat> this is what gets me at the same time these people in Congress, you know, and, and, and I, I, I'm going to say right out, I am not a Republican. I will never in my life vote for a Republican because both parties are so goddamn corrupt that I will never do that. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with conservatism here. It has to do with radical people in Congress now who want to essentially destroy the social programs for average Americans and especially for the poor. Yeah, well, they're pretty much defenseless. They don't have the lobby power of GE or this emailed guy that was just appointed by the Obama administration as the jobs are while he remains in his position as CEO of GE. GEO, uh, <laughs> GE <laughs> is asking basically for 17,000 workers to be laid off right now and to ship the jobs overseas and this is going to be our jobs are I mean the hypocrisy and the lies it, it just can't get any more Orwellian than this and then you wonder why young people you know turn off tune out uh, you know and even older people you know they start watching cat videos on YouTube that's probably the only solace that they will find in this kind of a mess and you know on some level you can't blame them because once people have been lied to and so propagandized and so discouraged maybe they just want to eke out a little bit of something that isn't about war and mayhem and hunger and asking for uh, asking for food but ultimately that is not going to be the solution because if we don't all keep pushing to set this thing straight one way or the other we're going to be on the receiving end of things you don't even want to think about if you think that things in the United States are bad now huh, I've got some news for you you haven't seen bad and most Americans could not ever imagine that because all of us live in our own little bubbles 
and we just seem to think, oh well, somebody will set it straight eventually. It won't come about by itself, that's all I have to say. People need to keep pushing and our entire government at this point is um, it's beyond repair really you know on the Republican side you've, you've got a, a complete bunch of nutcases running for office and on the Democratic side you've got people uh, acquiescing the nutcases <laughs> it's it's really uh, I mean, it's like an insane asylum at this point. So, I want to, you know, also speak to other citizens in other countries here. You have no idea what it feels like to um, try to get things in the right direction and then being pushed down again and again and again by your own elected representatives. At some point, something is going to give, and it's not going to be pretty. Good night.